so we're going to start standing, and I'm just going to set the foam roller kind of just off to the side for the first bit because I want us to do some standing roll downs to start off with. So let's stand on our mat with our feet right underneath our sit bones, and we're standing nice and tall. We're going to reach our arms forward and then drop chin to chest, and we're going to forward fold. If you should not be rounding your back, you could hinge at the hip to reach forward. So we're going to go chin to chest. We're going to curl and roll, rounding down towards the floor, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, away from the head and the neck, so we're not shrugging the shoulders. And we're going to hang for another breath, and then we'll bend the knees forward, and then we're going to curl back up, restacking, standing back up nice and tall, and arms come up to chest height. We'll do two more of these, working that nice rounded spine as you curl down, if you're adding that flexion. We're keeping the weight at our heels, at our ankles, as we roll down towards the floor. And then bend the knees slightly and tuck and curl to round back up and reset. Last one, nice smooth articulations. Imagine that you're rolling down off of a wall that you're peeling your spine off of piece by piece, vertebra by vertebra, as you curl and roll down towards the floor. And then on that next breath, we curl up and we restack. Coming back up nice and tall, nice and long. You're going to reach forward for your roller. We're going to do this as a, uh, as a stretch to start off with. If you don't have a roller, you could simply hinge at the hip for this one. Or if you had a chair, you could be hands on the back of your chair or a table, anything that's near you. I'm going to go right hand on top of the roller, left hand on top of the right. And I'm going to step back. So I'm reaching out for that roller, and I'm going to push the roller forward as I drop the chest down through the arms, reaching the hips back. So I'm hinging at the hip, bowing through the chest, and slow to restack, coming up nice and tall, and I'm going to change my hand position. Left hand down, right hand over left. And then hinging at the hip, reach the hips back, press that roller forward. It'll tilt onto its edge a little bit. As you drop the chest through, feel that stretch along the arms, the chest, around the shoulder blades. And then we'll hinge or curl back up, whichever you prefer. We're going to switch our hand position again. We're going to go palm up left hand over the right, and if you're working without a roller, all you got to do is just reach. So you can do all of this without the roller as needed. And then we press out as we hinge at the hip, reaching back. So there's a little bit of rotation through the chest. As you rotate the right side of the chest, the underarm towards the floor for that deeper lat stretch. And then we're going to curl back up or hinge back up and we'll reset. We're going to go back of the left hand on top of the roller, palm up, palm to palm, right hand on top of the left, and we reach out, hinge forward, hinging at the hip, dropping the chest down through, And then we'll slow to reset, standing up nice and tall. Now we're going to do a bit of standing balance. You could simply use your foam roller as a dowel for support uh, if you don't have a chair or a wall. I'm going to start without standing on the roller just yet because um, I want to work flat foot on the mat before adding to that standing position on the roller. So using the roller as much as you need to, we're going to go parallel feet and legs underneath the hips, 
slight tuck of the tailbone. And we're going to peel and lift the hip heels up. And then slow as we come back down. Rising up off of the heels. Finding that balance. And if you can, take your hand or hands off the roller. But remember, it's always there to help you with your balance as needed. You want to have some challenge working your balance, but not so much that it's causing the ankle and the foot to roll and shift quite a bit out of position. So if you need to go hands on, even if it's just one fingertip or two, that sometimes is enough to give you that feedback to stabilize everything and give you a little bit more balance, ground you a little bit more to your center of gravity. We'll do one more. And then slow as you lower. I'm going to place the foam roller on the floor. It's going to go horizontal because I need to stand on top of it. And you could do this up against a wall. Remember, you do not have to do any of this standing on your roller. I'm going to hold on to the side of the Cadillac here. And you're going to stand on your foam roller. If you're doing this without a roller, standing flat on the floor, to add challenge to your balance, what you're going to do is close your eyes. I wouldn't suggest that while you're standing on the foam roller, though, without holding on to something. So we're standing up nice and tall on that foam roller. And we've got a little bit of that roll from the heel to the ball of the foot. Nice and slow. Finding that control, that balance as best you can. If you don't have a roller and you want to add some type of balance work, you could grab a pillow. Stand on a pillow, or if you have a wobble cushion or a wobble board, too, for all of the standing balance work, we can work here. Good. Holding for another breath or two. And then we'll step down and step off of the roller. We'll go to parallel feet, parallel legs. If you need your roller again, you can prop it back up to its vertical position. And we're going to sit down. We're going to slide our hips down, bending at the knees. They go forward out over the toes. We sit and we stand. Rolling those shoulders back and down. Bending at the knees, hinging at the ankle to send the shin and the knee forward towards the toes. Gliding the shoulders down the back. It's a narrow, more narrow stance of your feet and your legs. So you're not in that squat stance. And we'll go last two. And we'll lay that roller back down to its horizontal position. And we're going to stand back on the roller. Feet are going to be right underneath your hips, holding on to a chair or a wall, finding that stable platform to make contact with. And then we're going to bend the knees, sitting down. And slow as you rise. Testing your balance, maybe not for the full movement, but you could pause at the top, take a hand off, test your balance, and then make contact with your chair or your wall as you slide back down, bending the knees. And then you could pause, take the hand off, find that balance, and then rise, standing back up.
nice and smooth. Try not to rush the movement. Momentum is not your friend in balance work. We want to work nice and slow, lots of control. Our last one. And then we'll step back down off the roller. It's nice to go back and forth, also give your feet a bit of a break and that balance a bit of a break as we work back and forth between the different movements. I'm going to take my roller vertical once again, just if I need it for a prop for balance. And I'm going to lift the heels up off of the floor and then slowly bend the knees, start to slide down, coming down into that seated position and pressing back up to that straight leg and slow as the heels lower. Heels lift up nice and high and then knees bend. Slow as you rise, shoulders are down, ribs are knitted in. You're using your roller, your chair, your wall as much or as little as you need to. One more. Heels lift. Nice extension through the leg. You're stretching tall and long. Knees bend forward. And you're sliding down with that lifted heel. Pressing up. And heels are going to lower. I'm going to work this one uh, standing on the foam roller. You could just stay right here with your hand on the roller. And we're going to work some single leg lifts and some single leg knee bends, which you could do either flat on the floor, uh, on a pillow, or on your roller for balance work. I'm gonna go to the hardest position here standing on the roller. I am gonna make sure that I'm holding on to something, especially for the setup. I can test my balance once I'm in a nice stable position. So standing with my left foot on the roller, I'm gonna reach that right leg back. Now for some of you that were in the studio at the beginning of the week, we worked some of this standing on our boxes. On the inhale, right leg is gonna reach back into extension. Reaching out. Lengthening nice and tall. I'm gonna to start to release my grip a little bit on that upright, on that dowel as I kick that right leg back. And then I pause with the right leg out, begin to bend that left knee forward out over the center of the foot and pressing up, standing tall. Remember at any point you can change to standing on the floor or adding a little bit of instability with a pillow, or if you happen to have a wobble cushion or a wobble board. Last two. And we'll step down and we'll change legs. Right foot is going to come on to the roller. Standing and lengthening nice and tall. That left leg is off the back of the roller and we're going to extend the leg from the hip, reaching back. Inhale as that leg lengthens. Keeping the leg nice and long. Stretching out of the hip as it reaches out and away. Two more. And then right knee is going to bend. Bending that knee forward, reaching that left leg back. Aligning the right knee over the center of the foot. Moving slow with control. 
So you can make little adjustments as you feel your body shifting out of position. Last two. And then we'll step back down to the floor. I'm going to go to a vertical foam roller for balance and support. And give our feet a rest from being on the roller. It is a nice tack and stretch of the arch of the foot while you're standing on it, which is nice. We're going to bend the knees and sit down with feet flat to start off with. Roll those shoulders back and down and then heels lift and lower. Lift and lower. I imagine that the crown of my head is resting up against the ceiling and that I can't move away from the ceiling. So I'm not bobbing up and down as I hold that seated position and the heels can lift and lower. Last three. Good, standing back up. This time I'm gonna lay the roller down in a vertical position and I'm gonna line it up first with my left uh, with my right leg, excuse me, I'm going to start with my right foot on. You really want to hold on for this one. And I'm going to only come off of my left heel to start off with. I'm going to find the balance. If there's a lot of wobble, a lot of instability on that right leg, you may want to stay down on the floor. And then I'm going to straighten the right leg, come on to the toes of the left. And then try and Lighten my grip and I'm holding, making contact. I want to make sure that I've got good stability in the foot. I'm not necessarily trying to take my left foot off the floor. I just want to lighten that grip and see if I can stay very still and very tall. And then I might bend the left knee a little bit, take a little less pressure off that left foot. Then I feel that wobble, that instability come into that right leg. I want to get into my glute a bit more on that right and left side. Zip up a little bit more. Now I'm going to press that left foot in against the roller so I've got that tension built between the legs at the inner thigh. And I can now move that foot up a little bit, but I've still got contact with that left foot, left leg. Standing nice and tall, stretching long. And remember, all of this can be done on the floor, standing on a pillow. My left knee is slightly bent with the inside of the foot resting against the side of the roller. And that left leg is going to twist out. Imagine your clamshell movement when we're sideline. Twisting that left leg out. We're finding that rotation of the leg in the hip. Have as little or as much contact with your hands on a chair, on a wall for that stability. And we'll go for three and two. And one. Slowly stepping down, finding that control. We'll step down, we'll slide the foam roller just out to the side. You could bring it back up to its standing position for support. And we're going to stand nice and tall from that right leg. Left leg is going to come out to the side. Left leg is going to lift and lower. Reaching and lengthening your body nice and tall, stretching for the ceiling, feeling the full weight of that right foot pressing down against the floor. If you need more challenge, stand on a pillow. You could also stand on the roller horizontal. 
holding that left leg out, we're going to bend the right knee so the right knee goes forward. I slide that left leg out to the side and then stand tall. This single leg squat as the left leg slides out to the side to move out of the way. Last two. And we're going to move to that left leg. I'm going to switch sides so I can hold on to this side of the Cadillac and you can see what's happening on the right side of the body. The roller goes vertical on the floor. And I hug that right leg in against the roller. So I've got contact of the inside of the right ankle on the roller. My left foot is on. And then I'm going to slowly start to stand up a little bit. Ball of the right foot is still on the floor. Roll those shoulders back and down. Find the weight in the foot on the top of the roller. Drive through the leg. And then I slowly try to straighten the leg. Locking the leg out, trying to stretch nice and long. This is a very slow movement into that final position. So I need to stop every time I feel instability start to creep in to my position. I need to pause, try to regain that stability, that engagement in the glute, in the core, back and abdominals before I start to move to that next position. And you can always back out of it a little bit. If you lose it, find it again, and then reaching back into it. Right foot is gonna slide forward a little bit. Try to bend that right knee and rotate that right leg out. Working that standing clamshell again. This side is definitely for me my harder side. This is a challenging side to be working. I can feel more instability. Take those moments to reset Re-engage. Working back into those rotations. Last three. And then slowly stepping down. Foam roller will come back up to that vertical position. We're standing tall, posting on that left leg. Right leg is going to reach out to the side with a nice tall alignment of your back and your leg, and we lift. Lifting that right leg out. And then we'll pause with the right leg out to the side and we'll bend that left knee forward out over the ankle center of the foot and stand tall. Last two. We'll place the feet down, step back, and reach forward, stretching forward, dropping the chest down through the arms. And you can add a little bit of a rotation by twisting from side to side. And 
and curl and roll and stretch back up. All right, we're going to take our foam rollers vertical to our mat so we can lay our spine, tailbone, all the way up the spine to the head. Um, if it's uncomfortable on your tailbone, it's nice to add a little towel underneath your hips to add a bit more padding. And we'll lay back, lacing our spine down the foam roller. You want to feel top of the head to the tailbone aligned on the roller. You can always do this flat on your mat as well. I'm going to bring our feet together, drop the knees out to the side for that butterfly stretch to start off with before we work back into our balance work. Collarbone is spreading wide. I'm going to walk the arms out a little bit towards the T, nice and slow so you don't roll off the side of the roller. Letting the chest open. One more breath. and then slow to reset. Unwinding the legs. We want to line our feet and our legs up with our sit bones. It's very easy to go feet wide and knees pulled in. And that's not going to be the healthiest position for our hips and for our knees. So let's find that parallel alignment with our feet in line, knees in line with our sit bones and our hips. And we're going to drive the shoulders down. Arms are reaching nice and long down by your side. And we're going to brace through abdominals and back extensors. Bring that right leg up to tabletop. Holding that leg nice and strong in that tabletop position. And then we're going to bring the forearms, the hands up off of the mat. So you're just on the elbows. And seeing how your balance is in this position. Start to lighten that contact of your elbows, your arms against the mat. And see if you can float the arms up without over shrugging the shoulder. Keep the ribs knitted in, the shoulders drawn down the back. And slow and controlled to reset. We'll put that right foot down, reset the arms. Take a moment to reset the spine, especially the neck. And then you'll bring your left leg up to tabletop position. And very slowly, when you're ready, we'll bring our hands, our forearms off the floor. We're there at the elbow, we're pulling in through the belly, through the midline, through the rib cage. And then start to lighten that contact with the mat. For those of you not using your rollers, these are great isometric exercises to be doing flat on your mat. If you are not using a foam roller, you could also close your eyes as you float your arms, kind of pull you in, recenter yourself to find your body in space. And slow to reset, bringing the foot and the arms back to the mat. Reaching the arms nice and long down by our side. We'll bring both legs up to tabletop. I can feel the contact of my arms, my hands to the mat. And I'm holding strong at tabletop. And I'm going to reach the right leg forward and slow to bring it back. Left leg extends out and slow to bring it back. Nice smooth glide from side to side. Trying your best to just rest the hands on the mat as the legs are moving. Being mindful of the shoulders, wanting to shift up towards the neck, towards the ears. Last one to the left. And then we'll rest the feet.
feet back to the mat. And let's cross our right foot over our left leg and just twist that knee out for that figure four stretch. You can twist the knee in and rotate the leg out. Feeling the shoulder blades wrap around into the roller and the weight of your spine from your shoulders down the mid back and then across the back of the hips. We'll change our leg position, right foot down, left leg crosses the right thigh and the leg rotates and twists. Finding that balance. And we'll rest that left foot back to the mat. Arms are going to reach up towards the ceiling. We're going to pull the shoulders up as we cave the chest in. So we've got that rounding through the chest. And then we're going to press the shoulder blades down, wrap them into the foam roller, bring your arms out to a T to stretch. We need to be mindful when working a lot of this balance stuff that we don't over shrug our shoulders and tense the neck. And arms glide forward, reaching up for the ceiling. We pull our shoulder blades forward and up off the roller or off the floor if you're laying on your mat. And then retract the shoulder blades back and down. Chest expands, arms open out nice and wide. And arms come forward. Last one, we reach up. Rolling our shoulders forward as if they're reaching for the ceiling and then we press the shoulder blades down in and around into the roller and arms open out nice and wide to your T for that stretch. And arms come down nice and long by your side. Elbows are slightly bent. I've got my forearms, my fingertips resting on the mat. Set the shoulders and your torso, your core, bring both legs up to tabletop position. We're going to squeeze through inner thighs, connect to those adductor muscles at the inner thigh, and then bring that tension up through the hips, through the pelvic floor, into the abdominals, and then begin to try to lift your hands off of the mat, coming to the elbow and then lightening that contact as best you can to the mat. If you're not using a roller, have these nice, strong, isometric holds. You could close your eyes. Find your body in space. Find that center line. Holding for five. Four, three, two, and one. Resetting the feet back to the mat. Take a moment to reset the body. Arms long, shoulders slide down the back. Reaching the arms nice and long. We're going to bring our right leg up to tabletop. Extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. And we're going to lower a little and lift. Only going about a quarter to halfway as that right leg lifts and lowers. I want my left leg stable and strong, not twisting as the right leg moves. Reaching nice and long with the arms. And then we'll bend that right knee, place the foot back to the mat. And bring the left leg up to tabletop. And extend that left leg up towards the ceiling, reaching far, and inhale to lower. 
and exhale to lift. Focusing on that balance, that stillness in your body, especially in that right leg. We'll bend the knee, rest the foot, take a moment to reset. We'll bend the elbow so we can press the forearms back down into the mat and legs come to tabletop position. You can hug the knees in towards the chest to round and stretch the low back for a breath or two. Drawing the knees in and then we'll bring the legs forward back to that tabletop position. And then on the inhale, we straighten and lengthen the legs forward and slow to glide them back. Moving slowly with that control to straighten and lengthen the legs as we draw the rib cage in, pull our belly to our back. lengthen. Exhale to glide back. We'll go two more. And rest the feet. Let's go back to our butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet together, knees fall out to the side. Letting the front of the hip open and stretch. And you can rock a little bit from side to side. And we'll come out of that butterfly stretch. I'm going to reach the right, the left leg, excuse me, down on the mat and a little bit out to the side, just a little bit, and then bring the right knee towards the chest. just to stretch a little bit more through the hip flexor. If you've got good balance, you could grab the right knee with the right hand and then pull it in towards the chest a little bit more. And then slowly we'll change sides. Right leg stretches out, just a little bit off to the side. You can open through the front of the hip a bit more. Bring your left knee in towards your chest as you stretch that right leg out and away. And then if your balance seems solid up on your roller, you're going to grab that left knee and shin and draw the leg towards the chest. And slow to unwind. We'll bend the knee, place the feet flat to the mat, take that breath or two to reset the upper body, especially the shoulders and the neck. And we'll bring our legs back up to tabletop position and we'll reach our legs forward nice and straight, straight legs open, close, and return to tabletop. You could hug the knees in, decompress the low back a bit before sending the legs forward once again. And straight legs open, close, returning to tabletop. Making sure that the legs are nice and straight before you work the opening and as you close, before bending back to tabletop. Shoulders are down, ribs and abdominals are knitted in. One more. 
feet rest to the mat. Squaring the feet and the legs off with your sit bones, reach the arms nice and long. We're going to tilt the hips back. We're going to work into our shoulder bridge. We're going to peel and bridge up off of the roller. And next breath, we curl down along the spine so you can feel each piece of the back articulating on and off of the roller. If you're working that pelvic tilt and curl, you can always do this from a neutral spine, that strict shoulder bridge, if you need to avoid the flexion in the low back. And we lift up into that shoulder bridge. Hips are lifted nice and high. We pause at the top. You could push the forearms, the elbows down to the mat. We're going to lift the heels up and then lower. Last two. And slow to curl back, back to a neutral spine. We're going to interlace our fingers, bring our hands back behind the head, let the elbows flare out for a moment, let the chest open and stretch. Elbows come forward slightly, pull the rib cage in, slide the shoulders down, and we'll fold at the mid ribs to lift the head, neck, and chest, keeping that little gap at the small of the back. And then we'll lift the heels and lower the heels. Try not to teeter on the roller as the heels lift and lower. Maintaining that deep fold at the mid-ribs. One more heel lift. Keeping the heel lifted, we'll curl back to the mat, back to the roller, and fold and lift with heels lifted high. Less contact of the feet to the mat. Move nice and slow. Last three chest lifts. Lowering the heels, resting the arms out to a T position, palms up towards the ceiling. Let the chest open and the arms can glide up and down along the mat, along your floor. And we'll slowly curl up, pressing and pushing up off of our roller. We'll come back to our standing position one last time for our forward stretch. Placing our vertical roller out in front of us, you could go back to a chair or a table to reach out. You're standing nice and tall with your feet right underneath your sit bones. We're going to reach the hands side by side now on the top of the roller. And we're going to press the hips back. Drop the chest down through, hinging at the hip. Reaching and lengthening out. And exhale, 
it. Slowly tuck the tail, curl and rounding the spine. Curling and rolling as you pull your ribs in, your belly to your back. And we curl and fold and roll forward and articulate out to a flat back, proud chest, reaching the tailbone back, hips back and up. And hips tuck under, round and roll the spine, curling and rolling, hinging the roller towards you. And last stretch, reaching out nice and long, nice flat back, proud chest. And slow to restack. We won't pull the roller in, we'll let it rest vertical and then begin to curl and roll up, restacking the spine, standing nice and tall. All right, guys. Awesome work today. Thank you so much.